You should have stayed dead. One of the biggest perks when it comes to having several different comic book universes is that we get various sets of superheroes. Each of these superheroes is strong in their own way, in their own universe, which makes it so much fun to pit them against one another in a hypothetical space where things are not so constrained and concrete. In today's video, we will compare our very own Man of Steel against eight characters from the Image universe and explain why we think Superman could get himself whooped if he ever faced off against them. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin! Spawn Al Simmons was a soldier and assassin when he started off. He was double-crossed and then killed off as it usually goes. His soul was sent to hell and that was where he was supposed to spend the rest of eternity. But Al wanted to see his wife. So for her, he strikes up a deal with a demon in hell. Malbosia and promises to be the soldier in his Hellspawn army if the demon allows him to see his wife. This led to the birth of Spawn. Now Spawn's powers are directly linked with the demon, so we can say right off the bat that he has dark emotions and intentions behind the usage of his magic, and the magic itself is dark magic. Spawn is very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapons because of his past in the military. On top of that, his body is made of necroplasm, and this necroplasm has magical abilities. It can easily regenerate lost limbs, fire energy blasts, and even offer higher powers such as magical abilities, as we have mentioned before, along with flight, teleportation, shape-shifting, etc. Even a suit, the K7 Letha, also acts as a perk when it comes to spawn because it can have chains, spikes, and everything if the situation calls for it. This arsenal of powers truly makes us feel that spawn would be able to beat Superman very easily. When it comes to Superman, he has super strength, super speed, and flight going for him, which would give spawn a hard time. However, as we know, Superman has two weaknesses. One, kryptonite and two magical traps used against him. Spawn can easily do that. Once he gets Superman in a trap of his, Superman is done for. Also another thing that Spawn has going for him is that he has Hell's Legion behind him. So he is an opponent who is extremely hard to beat. The Darkness The Darkness is the mystical power of the Image Universe which has attached itself to Jackie Estacado. Now while Jackie is not the threat, the darkness is. When the darkness latched itself on to Estacado, it made Estacado an immortal being. The only thing that holds Estacado back is his imagination and his killing instinct. If both of these are out of the equation for whatever reasons, then Jackie Estacado is completely unstoppable. Now as we know, Superman is weak to magical forces, and when it comes to the darkness, everything about him is pretty magical. So chances are the darkness would just transform Jackie into his strongest form and destroy Superman. The darkness is, after all, a supreme power that predates every civilization, and this huge power is only being channelized by Jackie. In the darkness Superman two-issue comics, Jackie visited Metropolis to irradiate the organized crime syndicate there and be the one in charge himself. In this comic book issue, we see Jackie and Superman face off. However, the face-off did not quite reach the whole brutality of what it could have been, because the sun rose right when things were about to get interesting. As you know, because of the sunlight, Superman gets extra strong, and that is what happened. But then again, when we look at the last panel of the comic, it really feels like the reason Jackie lost was because he wanted their fight to serve as a distraction to Superman while Butcher did the cleanup. However, without all of these things on the plate, we we do have valid reasons to believe that if Jackie and Clark faced off with both of them being on equal power footing, the darkness would win. My turn. 
Omni-Man. When you look at characters like Omni-Man, they are often described as Superman-like because the way they showcase their powers, their suits and their struggles seem very similar to that of Superman. But because of this reason, there is a question at all times, which is, can these characters go up against Superman and win? When it comes to Omni-Man, there are a few things that have happened to him that make us think that he might be able to score a win. Superman has a lot of versatility in his powers and a greater arsenal of powers, super strength, super speed and different types of vision, etc. So that makes Superman a powerhouse of a character. But let's take a look at his character. Superman is a good guy. He wants to save people and help them. And there is a naivete about him. These things, while not necessarily weaknesses can be exploited against him. I mean, in the Darkness Superman issue, we do believe that Jackie intentionally lost the fight and made Superman save him because Butcher was out killing off the organized crime group of Gross. Omni-Man may not be stronger than Superman, but he is a better killer. Why? Because he actually fights to kill. He is not fighting to save people. He is fighting to kill them. This intent is a huge motivator. Also, he is a Viltru the race that went around getting a lot of planets under their control. So we are sure that if Omni-Man wanted to take out Superman, he would use his brains to get the job done and not just his brawn. Ananke in the Wicked plus the Divine, we get to meet Ananke and honestly, when the final arc reveals the truth, we truly realize how strong Ananke actually is. In this comic book series, there are 12 teens who have supernatural powers and they are considered to be the reincarnations of 12 gods and goddesses, collectively known as the Pantheon. Ananke is often seen to be the mother figure of the group while not being part of it. Throughout the series, we feel like Ananke Anke is a great character, very sweet and nice, but we were wrong. We learned about how wrong we were when we reached the final arc. The final arc shows that Minerva and Ananke, the two sisters, were initially a part of the 12 superpowered teens. However, instead of realizing their true potential as a human and slowly building up their powers from there, the two sisters figured out that if they called themselves God, they instantly became powerful. In order to escape her death, and remain this powerful, Ananke had been sacrificing the heads of four of the twelve gods every time the cycle of Pantheon, known as the Recurrence, happens. Well, from all of that, there is one thing we can be very sure about. While Superman can punch Ananke's face, Ananke's magic is far greater than whatever Superman has faced in the DC Universe, and if Ananke wanted, she could easily ruin Superman completely. Savage Dragon. Now, Savage Dragon and Superman would be the duo to behold. We see the duo in action in the Superman and Savage Dragon comic book. Here, Superman was found lying in a field full of flames, but when he woke up, there was not much he could explain. He had no idea why he was where he was and what had happened to him. As it would be, he was not alone in this plight. Savage Dragon had also suffered the same fate and he had no idea either. So together, the duo decided to figure out what led to their situation. Their investigations led them to Kilroy, who was working with Fiend, and Fiend was the one who wanted to possess Superman. This was a little unexpected because Kryptonian physiology is vastly different from human physiology. Fiend can easily take on human hosts, but a Kryptonian would be a challenge. However, as we would learn, the whole amnesia that Superman felt was because of Fiend's trial run on possessing Superman. Once Superman was possessed, Savage did not have much choice but to fight with him. Fiend now had all the abilities of Superman at his disposal. And on top of that, the button that Runt had made to separate Fiend from the host and send it back was now in his hands. The stakes were high. However, soon enough, we see Savage Dragon move in and show how agile he can be. He takes the button from Superman's hand and destroys it, forcing the Fiend out of the body. This moment lasted merely one panel in the comic book, but that was enough for us to draw the conclusion that if Savage Dragon and Superman had a proper fight, there are ways that Savage could easily turn the tides around during the fight. He is very big, but he is agile. Why 
while he may not be immune to the laser eyes, he can regrow his limbs and his strength is sort of comparable to Superman. However, his agility is the biggest art that he has up his sleeve, which Savage can easily use to win whichever fight he is in. The Fraternity the Fraternity is the criminal organization in the Wanted series. Now, when you look closely at the Wanted universe, you will notice that they are clearly inspired by the characters of the DCC universe. The character from the Wanted series that we know and love so much, Wesley Gibson, is clearly inspired by Deadshot and Bullseye, owing to how scarily accurate his aim is. So, in this universe, all the heroes and the villains are heavy-handedly inspired by the DC Universe. When we follow the fraternity, they have already gotten rid of all the superheroes from this universe. They have individually taken their time and wiped out the existence of superheroes, making it seem like they never existed in the first place. With how heavy-handed the inspiration is, we can see that Professor Solomon Selzer is the equivalent of Lex Luthor in this universe. So we can assume that there was a Superman equivalent in this universe too, and he fell. So if Superman equivalent could fall in front of the fraternity, then the real Superman would fall too. Jagannath. In Kill Six Billion Demons, the main protagonist, Alison Ruth, is given a powerful fragment of the 777-777 universes by the gods. This fragment is known as a key. There are seven other key holders, and she needs to fight them in order to get her boyfriend back. Now, the seven other key holders are called the Demiurges, and Jagannath, the God Eater, is one of them. Now, when it comes to Jagannath, he is the skill of all the Demiurges because he essentially destroys reality as we know it and reboots it. This action is something that he is bound to repeat forever because of fate, but it is clear that he has succeeded in this before, several times in fact. Now let us look at Superman. While Superman has faced against the biblical demons and their equivalents in the DC Universe and won, he has also had to face world conquerors like Darkseid and cosmic entities like in Perix. In both cases, Superman struggled quite a bit. So if he was faced with the embodiment of doom and despair, Superman would definitely have a hard time. Also, if we had to assume that the universe that Jagannath rebooted has Superman in it, does that not mean that he has won against Superman several times already? Nemesis. Superman has faced defeat at the hands of Batman. We have seen it happen, so the concept that maybe, just maybe, Nemesis, who is a supervillain that is exactly like Batman in pretty much every way, will win against Superman is not so far-fetched. If you look into Nemesis as a character, you would realize that he does not have a superpower per se, but his mind, even without any enhancements from superpowers, is a weapon that is to be feared. No matter what the scene is, no matter what what the situation is, Nemesis is always 10 steps ahead because he knows what would have happened and he deduced the perfect way that things would go his way even if he were to die. This is a trick up a sleeve that will always, and I mean always, ensure a victory. That is why if Nemesis were to face off against Superman in any way, shape or form, the chances are that Nemesis would have already thought of every single outcome and every single possibility and he would have pushed the whole fight in such a way that he would win every single time. That is why in the Image universe, Nemesis is one of the strongest, well thought out and vicious supervillains, a true worthy opponent of the Man of Steel from Metropolis. Marvelous Verdict Superman has always been one of those superheroes that you end up rooting for because he is just so good, so nice and so strong. He is everything that a superhero should be. That is why Superman facing defeat at the hands of anyone is quite significant. In this list, all the characters we have mentioned have their own flaws and shortcomings, definitely. However, when we look at the bigger picture and try to put them in the hypothetical scenario where they get to face off against Superman, we do feel that in the hands of these characters, Superman will face defeat, specifically for the things that make him Superman. Let us know if you agree with our list and if you feel we have missed out on a character. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.